Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Black Nurse. Today, researchers from the TDC Security Operations Center, or the TDC SOC, released details about a new denial of service attack that apparently affects some firewalls. They actually gave this particular uh, attack a marketing name and a logo, and they're calling it Black Nurse. Long story short, this attack involves a specially crafted ICMP, or ping packet. You probably know the ICMP protocol is what we use to ping to actually check if other hosts are up and if they're ratable and things like that. In any case, by sending a packet that is specifically ICMP type 3 code 3, some firewalls become overwhelmed by a barrage of these packets and go into a denial of service state where people behind them can no longer reach the internet. Uh, TDC SOC specifically said that Sonic Wall, Cisco ASAs, and apparently Palo Alto firewalls may be vulnerable to this particular denial of service attack. And note I didn't say distributed denial of service attack. This doesn't take a huge amount of traffic. Apparently you can cause this attack in only uh, 9 to 18 megabits of traffic. So a single computer or a single host, even a phone, can generate that sort of traffic in certain scenarios. Now, despite the fancy marketing name Black Nurse, this really isn't anything new. There have been various ICMP-based DOS attacks before. The most popular is the Ping of Death, which is a very different type of attack. The Ping of Death was a very specific sized ICMP packet. I believe it was Type 8 Code 0. But there were other types of ICMP DOS attacks in our history, uh, and some of them used Code 3 as well. So I really don't think this is a new thing. However, the fact that modern firewalls can still be taken down or at least can lose service for their users because of such a basic ICMP packet is concerning. Now the good news is not all firewalls are affected. In fact, these researchers mentioned Linux-based IP table firewalls aren't affected. Furthermore, if you're a WatchGuard customer, we spent today testing this attack using HPing, uh, basically using the instructions the researchers mentioned, and it does not affect us either. Uh, in the worst case, we saw our CPU go up 10% but users behind our firewall that were under this HPing flood were still able to browse and do things like normal. So this doesn't seem to affect our boxes. One other note, by default, our ICMP policy doesn't allow type 3 messages at all. We only allow the type 8 messages that are required to uh, respond to ping. In fact, in most cases, we're not going to allow incoming ping on your external interface. It's up to you to turn that on if you want external people to ping you. So anyway, Anyways, even if you do allow the ICMP policy, by default we're not going to allow type 3 ICMP packets anyways, unless you create a specific rule to allow them. So anyways, that's Black Nurse. If you have any routing devices or some of the aforementioned firewalls, you might want to consider looking for updates. And be sure to read the report on how this uh, Black Nurse DOS attack works. That's it for today's story. Have a great weekend and thanks for watching.